In this lesson, we'll discuss how you can predict the type of radioactive decay. The question reads, predict whether each nuclide is more likely to decay via beta decay or positron emission. Let's begin with A. We have magnesium and it has an atomic mass of 28. So let me just write that down. Magnesium, atomic mass of 28. Magnesium also has 12 protons. So I'll write down 12 underneath. And what we want to do is find the ratio of neutrons to protons. We can do that by remembering that this 28 represents the sum of neutrons and protons. So let's set up a simple equation here where 28 is equal to the amount of neutrons, which we don't know, plus 12. If we rearrange this simple equation, we should end up with n is equal to 16. At this point, I'll take 16 and divide it by 12. So 16 divided by 12, and I'll come up with the decimal number here. 16 divided by 12 gives us 1.3 repeating. 1.3 repeating. Now let's interpret this. One thing to keep in mind is that a stable nuclei, a stable nucleus in other words, should have an n to z ratio of about 1. Here it's 1.33 repeating. Now normally, Magnesium has an atomic mass of around 24.31 AMU, atomic mass units. Here we have an atomic mass of 28. 28 is too heavy to be stable given the ratio that we found of 1.33. As a result, magnesium 28 is most likely to undergo beta decay, resulting in the conversion of one neutron to a proton. Moving on to B, this time we have magnesium 22. So I'll write down magnesium. 22, 12. We'll do the same math as before. So I'll subtract 12 from 22. That gives us an n value of 10 or 10 neutrons. 10 divided by 12 is 5 over 6 and that is approximately 0 0.833. As you can see now, this number is less than 1. And a magnesium nuclide with a mass number of 22, as shown in this isotope, is too light to exist. Therefore, it must undergo positron emission, resulting in the conversion of one proton to neutron. So in this particular case, we're more likely to see positron emission. Now also one thing to keep in mind is that electron capture would also accomplish the same thing as positron emission here. But in magnesium-22, positron emission is the only decay mode observed. So let's move on to C. This time we have molybdenum, and it has an atomic mass of 102. So molybdenum... 102. Molybdenum is the 42nd element on the periodic table. So if we do the math where we get 102 is equal to n, number of neutrons plus 42, n should equal to 60. Using the same formula as before, 60 divided by 42. Let's use our calculator quickly. 60 divided by 42 gives us 10 over 7 or 1.42. 1.42. As mentioned in question A, we want a value that is close to 1, and this is 1.42, so we have a lot more neutrons than we do have protons. As a result, beta decay will occur here again, where the neutron is converted into a proton, and that should help the stability of this particular nuclide. Now, if you'd like to see the answers to D, E, and F, just leave us a comment below. We already have the video. We haven't published it yet. Leave us a comment below and we'll gladly publish the answers to D, E, and F. Hope to hear from you soon.